Schumer learns how the rest of us feel when illegals invade his neighborhood Senator Chuck Schumer has been one of the most passionate advocates for illegal aliens, even shutting down the government in an ill-starred gambit to get the Obama-era Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program reinstated. That, you may have heard, did not work out well for Mr. Schumer and cohort. Now, after capitulating with literally nothing to show for the shutdown, Schumer is feeling the wrath of the same people he tried to help. According to the Associated Press, roughly 75 DACA participants and their supporters decided to show up outside of Schumer's house in the Tony Park Slope neighborhood of Brooklyn in New York City on Tuesday, saying that he ought to have kept the government closed long enough to get legal status for hundreds of thousands of illegal immigrants and without offering any concessions to border security. Slogans on the placards, Red Clean Dream Act Now, Melt Ice and No. Not one more deportation, and, of course, Estalmas and La Lucha. We are in the fight. And the chants from the crowd made it clear that at least some dreamers, illegal aliens brought to the country as children by their equally illegal parents, were among the crowd that had invaded the senator's neighborhood. If Chuck won't let us dream, they repeated, we won't let him sleep. The activists wanted them to fight harder for legislation to protect from deportation the 700,000 or so younger immigrants known as dreamers who were brought to the U.S. as children and now are here illegally, the AP reported. We sent him to Washington to defend our democratic values and he sold out, said Rebecca Coyle, 43, of Brooklyn. I think it's cute that someone thinks that being able to get your way on immigration despite the fact that your party of choice controls neither the House nor Senate nor White House represents democratic values. But we must remember this is Brooklyn, home to more barcades and failed comedy troops per square mile than anywhere in the United States. I oughtn't judge the reality challenged from the sample size so harshly. Meanwhile, 36-year-old New York resident Ali Garvey told the AP her father was deported 35 years ago, which of course has everything to do with Trump and or Schumer, and nothing to do with the fact that her father broke a law. The healing doesn't happen overnight and there are a lot of politicians who are going to have to answer for what they did, Garvey said. But apparently not Garvey's father. Ms. Garvey is apparently a therapist. I'd be curious to ask her whether one can perform Freudian projection at the implied behest of a third party. Earlier in the day, the Senate minority leader tried to explain why the idea had failed to MSNBC's Rachel Maddow, inadvertently adumbrating just how bad of an idea it was in the first place. Look, we've advanced the cause, Schumer said, according to The Blaze. What people have to understand, and I think most people do, most of the Democrats on Capitol Hill perfectly understand, we don't have the levers of power. We have a Republican president, a Republican Senate and a Republican House, all three are the most anti-immigration that there is. So we have to be smart and thoughtful and careful about how we advance the cause, he added. In other words, they advanced the cause by pointing out to conservatives they were more willing to shut the government down and ensure military families didn't get paid than negotiate with the Republicans over illegal immigration, and by pointing out to those who support illegal immigration that they were willing to cave like a North Korean nuclear test site once it became apparent nobody was stupid enough to actually give in to their demands. If that's not cause advancement, I don't know what is. Get some Ambien and keep them in a safe place, Chuck. If that's seriously your outlook on this fiasco, you're likely to need them again sometime soon. Please like and share this story on Facebook and Twitter with your thoughts on these protests.